Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing roasted pumpkin seeds. Something that reminds me of my mother growing up, she would always roast us pumpkin seeds and it was always really good. It's one of those type of treats you just don't get all year long, so this is a great time of year to take advantage of it. If you've never tried it before, they're really good. They're nutty, they're crispy, they're crunchy, they're salty, they're a little bit of sweet, they're everything you could possibly want. So we've got a pretty medium, I wouldn't say large pumpkin there. And you want to cut the top off and then scrape all the seeds down to the bottom. This is just going to make it really easy for you to scoop everything out. So once you get everything down to the bottom, you can use the best tool in the entire kitchen, your hands, and just pull that stuff out. You don't have to, of course, but it's Halloween time. It's time to get a little bit freaky and <laughs> dirty, I guess, kind of Halloween-y. So once you got them out, we're going to rinse them off. Some people call for not cleaning them and then roasting them. I really can't understand why you do that. But there are recipes that do that, so I thought I'd throw that out there for you. I've never tried it myself. Um, I believe in giving them a good rinse and, and wash. That way that we can season them and make them taste the way we really want them to, besides the way nature already intended. So here's the secret ingredient. might be a little different, but we're using an egg white. The egg white is going to help all the seasonings stay on the seeds, plus it's going to create this incredibly crispy texture that's just amazing. If you've never tried it, I really suggest you trying it. It's really cool. You don't have to. You can do the recipe exactly the same way and just not use the egg white if that's the way you'd like to roll. So we're going to get the egg white in the bowl, and then we're going to season it up. We're using four seasonings here. We're going to use good old salt, sea salt. Brings a flavor. A little bit of garlic salt, which is really good. It has a little bit of, uh, this one has a little bit of uh, parsley in it too. A little cayenne pepper. And just to balance everything out, a little bit of cinnamon really makes it really nice. So we're going to mix everything up here. And we're going to get it onto a cookie sheet that's lined with parchment paper. You really need to use the parchment paper. You cannot use aluminum foil. Everything will burn and just not work out. So you really need to use the parchment paper. And then we're going to spread everything out as well as you possibly can. We don't really want everybody touching each other. There's something cool that's going to happen with the use of the egg white when it cooks in the oven. Everything's going to turn into like a big crisp in a way. So we're going to go straight in the oven here. 400 for 15 minutes exactly. Make sure your oven's preheated too. Already looking beautiful. Doesn't that remind you of like Thanksgiving, all the good stuff that comes this time of year, the color, everything. It's crispy, it's delicious, actually healthy for you too. So check that out. It comes out looking like a big wafer. Might look odd and dis different to some y'all, but it's really great. That's where this texture is coming from. So all you gotta do is crisp it up the or make everything break up with a nice little fork there. You can use your hands. Get them in a nice serving bowl. You can just leave it on your counter. So as you're going through, just grab a few, take a couple bites during the day, or serve them at a party. And there you guys go. This is some delicious roasted pumpkin seeds. Come join us on social media. We'd love to have you guys over there. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you guys can see all the good videos we're posting. There'll be a recipe on the website with the quick little instructions. You guys have a great one.